Sax Tinker here. We are in the middle of our first overhaul. This is a King Cleveland, probably from the 1970s, that we got off eBay for $108 shipped. Uh, it has a little bit of bare brass and a little bit of lacquer, uh, but it's our first overhaul and it's totally going to do the job. Uh, we've already leveled the tone holes, removed all, we removed everything but the springs, and we leveled the tone holes with some files. But what's really been getting me this last month is, is how to measure whether this key cup is level. Side to side, front to back, and uh, level meaning when there's a pad installed, but I don't want to put a pad in there to check it partly because I don't want to squish the pad and have it be temporarily deformed. So, here's experiment number 352. Actually, it's our first experiment. Um, this is a piece of steel rod. It is 4.3 millimeters thick, supposedly. Uh, my calipers actually say it's 4.2. But Amazon says it's 4.3, and that was chosen because we're using 4 millimeter pads and we want a little bit of glue on the back. So. What we're going to try here is we're going to set we're going to set this steel rod crosswise in the pad. Notice it doesn't come quite to the edges. And that was on purpose. And then here's a magnet. I'm going to put a magnet on the back so that it will stay in place and not fall over, fall in the hole. So, I'll center that up. And I'm going to send it I'm going to put it tenderly down onto the tone hole because we already we already refaced these tone holes. We already leveled them. And so we don't want to like put a dent in it with our hard piece of steel. So now we will check and see if we can see light under one side or the other. And so there it is. You see on the left side, it's totally touched down. It's being supported by the left side. And on the right side, you can see a small gap. And that shows us that this key cup is not parallel over the tone hole like we want it to be, and we can go ahead and uh, bend the key to make it parallel. And while we did this side to side with the piece of steel going sideways, you can totally do the same thing by putting the steel top to bottom, and you'd be able to use it to check the front to back level. And there it is. You can see that the back is actually touching down and that the front is, that steel is in midair, so we know that the, uh, the front of the key cup needs to come down a little bit. So there it is. That's our experiment for the day. We'll let you know how it goes.